we have a big news from Genshin Impact developers. We had been waiting for many things for the game, and to be honest, we uh, a lot of the people were depressed, right? Because it didn't seem like they were listening to us. But here, it's been a while since they actually dropped this. If you want to see all those news up to date, you should probably go follow Genshin Impact Twitter and also um, me, Tena TV, by the way. Thank you very much. All right, so let's go ahead and see what they actually talked about. Oh my god! Uh... All right, so what I see from the first page is the artifact inventory limit. It used to be 1,000. Now it's 1,500. They're going to make it to 1,800 after the version 4.0 update. This is a game changer. Well, for a lot of the farmers, right? What can we do in Genshin Impact at the moment? Farming for artifacts. A lot of the people probably, they finished exploring the world. A lot of the people also have reached AR60 and now they're just waiting for 4.0, right? And after we get the update, we are going to be able to farm for more stuff. And then the craftable artifacts. We're going to be getting the Zhongli set, the Pale Flame, the Fate set, the Shime set. This is the healer set. We've got the Ito set. Oh, we can make Ito set now. That's nice. Oh, Vermilion! We can make Vermilion set and Echo set. Nice! The destruction function for four-star artifacts is going to be added. More optimizations for artifacts are currently in the plans. Here, we would like to share some of the, some of the thoughts to you. Locking of artifacts. The dev team has been looking for ways to reduce the cost of managing artifacts and improve your experience. We will optimize the locking function in the future, allowing travelers to lock artifacts that they want more easily. Okay. So maybe like if we want the double crit artifacts to be auto locked. Okay. That's going to be really nice. Or maybe like three substats with either crit rate or crit damage or something like that. It's going to be very handy because I have an experience of, well, deleting some of the artifacts that had double crit because I forgot to lock them. Equipping of artifacts. Regarding the current cumbersome process of equipping artifacts, we are currently discussing a new plan to help travelers select and equip artifacts as quickly as possible. We are in the midst of discussing specific plans for the above optimizations. Once the details are confirmed, we will reveal them in details in subsequent developer discussions. This is very copium. Do you know why? Because we kind of have that in Starreo. And if Starreo cannot pull that off, then Genshin can't. The best way for them to solve this problem is by having the artifact loadout, like a lot of the people had been asking for. But that would also cause a lot of problems. They're going to have to come up with the whole logic behind how they want to save things and then what happens when you load multiple characters and what if other characters are using them or stuff like that, right? So there are still things that they need to probably solve, but if they add this, it would be really nice because a lot of my characters right now are kind of... My Zhongli is using full crit set. You know, my Yula is using EM set. So all my artifacts are screwed. So I hope this would probably help me equip things better. And new content preview. Next, we will share some new content in version 4.0 with you. Uh, new battle pass weapons. Okay, I was so close of getting R5 of all the weapons. And I was thinking maybe it is time for them to make a new weapon, right? So now we're going to get 10 types. We have five in the beginning, right? So I guess they're adding five more. So that's why they're saying 10 types. And then new genius, the TCG. Observe duel. We can actually watch people duel. That means I can do some like events with people and then, you know, come up with a tournament and stuff like that. That's going to be a very nice thing. You can also select whether if you allow others to view the duel through the settings in the duel. You know, there's always that friend of yours that wants to make fun of you, right? And then say, oh my God, you suck at playing TCG. Ha ha ha. If you don't want them to watch you, then you can just disable it. Nice. Adds gyroscope controller support on some platforms. I have a question, guys. Does Genshin Impact have a controller support for iOS? They do? What about Android? Oh, so for Android, they don't have that. So I hope they focus and fix some of the things that actually matters instead of... What is this? <laughs> How do you even use this? And then, new chapter of adventure, Fontaine in the upcoming vision. Travelers will head to Fontaine, the nation of justice. Fontaine encompasses vast areas of open water. With the blessing of the... I can't read! 
<laughs> With the blessings of the transoceanic source water, you can freely traverse their depths and explore the unique scenery of Fontaine. Dude, I swear to God, I don't know why, but Genshin Impact uses big words or some words that I cannot pronounce. And they make me regret that I didn't really study a lot of SAT words. Goddamn. Before you embark on your journey, we have two adventure tips to share. After the version 4 update, if you have completed the Archon Quest in Mondstadt, a teleport waypoint in Sumer's realm of Farakert will unlock automatically. You will be able to use this to quickly arrive near Fontaine. Okay, okay. The multi-layered map will be officially available after the version 4.0 update. Okay. I thought we already had that, but I guess we're gonna get more. So I'm really looking forward to that. But also at the same time, do you guys remember like exploring chasm? I was really, really getting frustrated when I was jumping off the cliff and falling down to this endless hole for like 15 seconds and I was getting scared. I really hope they don't make me swim under the hole. I don't know, man. In addition to Fontaine, the multi-layered map function will also be updated in some existing areas, like for example, the chasm, right? And then, thoughts on the future! With the release of the new version, travelers will get to explore tons of new content. The dev team has also noticed that the current daily commission mechanics are not flexible enough. Yes, we get the same shit over and over again. What we'd like to share here is that the relevant optimizations are currently in the pipeline. When the time comes, Travelers will be able to obtain daily rewards in a new format. We will introduce the details to you in the future discussions. And that's all, folks. Alright, um, I hope they don't forget about this. There had been many things that were promised, but they forgot. Which is totally fine because they probably focus on things that are more important, right? And obviously for a big company like Hoyoverse, it's easier for them to do that, right? Because sometimes when people say, oh, let's just trash this, and then those people who make those announcements won't get a message, right? When that happens, they forget about it, it seems like. Within the company, they probably discuss it enough to, you know, exclude things or include things. But, you know, when that happens, people would cry. And of course, I would also be disappointed. However, the path that they're taking right now, I hope they can speed things up. Because it still feels like a lot of the things in Genshin Impact hasn't changed. Which is a good thing if you quit and come back sometimes. But for those people who kept on playing Genshin Impact will feel bored of the game. I'm not saying the game necessarily is boring, but for now, as a veteran player who has reached AR60 for a long time, I feel like there's no reason for me to explore anything because there was no reason for me to keep on farming for chests. Uh, for two or five Primo Gems, especially when I'm a spender, it's not really worth it. Anyways, what do you guys think about this Death Note? Are you guys excited for this? I'm very excited for the 1800 inventory Maybe later in the future, we're going to get the artifact loadout. That's going to be really nice. And the multi-layered map is going to be a quality of life change. And then the commission quest thing, the way we get the Primo Gems is going to be a little different. Hopefully a little bit more, you know? While you're changing it, you know, you can also make a little change and then we can get maybe 20% more Jades. Jades? Jades? No. <laughs> I'm getting mixed up with uh, Honkai Star Wheel and uh, Genshin Infect terminology here. Oh my god. Anyways... Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.